Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here and finally Zhengs emulator has officially launched on its github page and is publicly available to try and test out for you guys. In today's video we'll be setting up the version 5.0 which is the latest version of Zhengs emulator which was released about 12 hours ago and we'll be going through its changelog, what's new and much more. But before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. Let's get started. So right here is the official github page of Zhengs Nintendo Switch emulator. Zhengs is also trying to be open open source so they are trying to uh, publish their source code on github to make it open source and as you will be able to read in its description Zynx is a fork of Yuzu Android meant to complete the development on Yuzu and give more performance on all devices I am assuming unofficially Zynx emulators version 5.5 has also been released it hasn't been published on github but unofficially it provides better FPS than the previous versions of Zynx the temperature is also acceptable in this build so it will not overheat but it will probably heat a little bit and to 2 build is provided so it will use the full potential of your Android device and Google Play won't flag Zynx emulator so that's pretty great instead of the version 5 we'll go with version 5.5 as it is very better and compared to version 1 the theming has been changed so it is pretty great let's just go ahead and open it once you open it you won't really notice any major changes in terms of UI there are some improvements which I'll talk about later on in today's video but the branding has been updated to Zynx emulator anyways they have also provided a new turnip driver from Puja launcher team which can improve even more FPS compared to the Mesa turnip experimental revision 19. The turnip Puja launcher is officially available on the github page of Zhengx emulator so we'll be going with this and let's go to advanced settings let's check out the brand new best settings we'll turn off limit speed percentage dock mode has been turned off and in terms of graphics we get 0.4x resolution scaling anyways that's pretty weird uh, FSR sharpness will set it to 0 afterwards make sure to scroll down stretch to window is aspect ratio force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders have been enabled and yeah there isn't any new setting but but minor improvements have been made inside the emulator provides you with stable FPS anyways now that we have finished setting up Zhengx simulator version 5.5 let's start with the gameplay test to start off we'll be testing out legend of zelda tears of the kingdom and you will notice that immediately it has crashed let's try out a different game and it is crashing i think it's because uh, the Puja turnip driver is not supported for Snapdragon uh, 8 Gen 3 processor that's why it's crashing. So if you have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 go with Mesa turnip experimental but if you have Adreno 6 series GPU then go with turnip Puja launcher. Anyways now let's try out Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and this time our game should successfully start. One thing which you'll also notice is the fact that the controls have been changed. A bit of customization inside the controls that is pretty cool. Anyways the first game which we are testing out is Tears of the Kingdom and let me just go ahead and go to overlay options and make sure to enable thermal indicator as well and it is saying my device is a bit hot but i am not really noticing it and the first thing which i am noticing is the fact that we are getting really amazing fps uh, the thermal side you will be able to see it saying uh, the device is getting hot uh, but i'll play this game for a few minutes and then i'll talk about the thermals as you'll be able to see the game is working properly there are no graphical issues whatsoever by the way here's our today's google play store gift card redeem code giveaway which i do daily on my channel if you also want to win this gift card then be sure to be the first one to claim it for that you need to watch the videos first hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification for participating in this giveaway let's move forward with the gameplay test of this Yanks emulator version 5.5 and one thing which i am really surprised gameplay fps or performance is pretty stable which means that our device is definitely not thermal throttling and the graphics resolution is also pretty amazing let me zoom in for you guys you will be able to see uh, the textures look very sharp so there is no issue with low quality textures or anything like that you don't really need to worry about it and during uh fight scenes or compiling shaders it doesn't really lag that much but one thing which i'm noticing once again the device is getting a bit hot and i'm not really sure if inside sudachi emulator the device would get this much hot it's just heating up uh, as usual it happens with every single game even if you play mobile games but it's a bit more than that though i have to say these custom control colors look a bit better it might be polarizing to some of us uh, in my opinion it looks a bit cool but i would be interested if they like create a whole different on-screen touch control profiles anyways that's going to be it for today's video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i bring similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye and yeah guys after ending the video after closing the young simulator now that i am holding it like this I can indeed say that the device did indeed get a bit too hot so overheating issue has still not been fixed completely but it's a bit less than previous but still it overheats so long periods of gaming will obviously decrease your battery health.